Hello folks, Farm Envoy here, and this time I'm going to show you everything you need to know about grapes and others in Farm Simulator 25, from how to grow them, how to harvest them, and what you can use them for. So, first of all, as always, if you enjoy this, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. But without further ado, I'm going to go over the grapes and olives. I'll briefly go over the production I've got in the back there, but I am going to do a separate video on do some math and actually see our grapes and olives actually worth doing that in terms with their productions and that because with olives and that you can get olive oil with grapes you can get raisins and grape juice so that's going to be a separate video that's going to be coming out pretty much at the same time this is coming out so first of all we're going to go over the equipment and base game wise in FS25 it is a expensive input it's in terms of getting into the whole business, especially the harvest now, they cost 250 grand each, give or take. But yeah, so in order to grow vineyards and that, so go into your build mode and that. Go over to cultivation and you can see we got grape vines and olive vines. For each strip these cost 130 or 105 respectively, so that's per olive tree or per vine. So for example, you can place them down anywhere you want. And yeah, with seasons, they do grow at a certain time. So what I'm going to do is quickly put on our seasons back on. So alright, let's try that again. Because yeah, this menu can be a bit fizzy at the best of time. So as you can see, without, with seasons on, grapes and that, grapes and olives can be planted from March to around about June. Olives until June, but with grapes it's till May. And yeah, they're harvested around September, October time. So what I'm going to do is put seasonal growth back off. Just me for the video of showing you how to grow them, how to harvest them, and everything in between. So, so yeah, now we know how to place them. Now they can be pretty expensive, right? Because again, like these little strips over here, these are average size than that. So they could be a lot smaller, they could be a lot bigger. But if you want to make good use and good profit of them, then you're going to need a lot of these. So if I'll go, well, let's say, over a little test strip over here and that. But yeah, so I've got field free here on Hunt and Pantai. And just for this long, massive strip, we're looking at 30 grand or so. And yeah, that is a very expensive input. Now, in terms of getting started, especially thanks to courtesy of Strofty. He's done a test video on what's the most profitable crops in FS25. Even though he missed out one particular money crop in the game, but I'm going to do a separate video on that. Grapes and olives are the worst products to do in terms with money. Or at least on the outback. They may be, they may be but definitely are worth more using the productions. But I am evaluating, evaluating these crops as they are. So in terms with your equipment, so... Obviously, you can use the menus here, the vehicle section, or go into your packs, and then, yeah, select grapes, all this, and it'll give you a good starting equipment. So, these are a pretty good standard. So, you've got your Landini RX4 GT. That's going to be your small tractor to work between the vineyards. They do have several Holland, new Holland harvesters and that, so... Actually, what I'm going to do is go to our harvesters, because we have the Aero Grape Liner, and that is... I'd like to say that was a downloadable item, was it in FS2? It wasn't base game, it was like a downloaded free content or a paid DLC, I'm not sure what it was in that. The Broad, very familiar with in FS2. And a new brand we got is Gregory, or Gregor, I'm not sure I pronounced that, I do apologise. So yeah, with the Grape Liner, Standard, same with the Broad. But the Gregor, that can be converted from 3,000 to 4,000 years. Different engines, raise more if you're working on a hillside, like a Italian kind of vineyard than that. Also, you got configurations for grapes and olives, because they do harvest slightly differently in real life, but as you can see, in a game, it's not really that much. Obviously, you got your traders for your grapes and that, so these can be used to obviously transport them to the grape processing plant. And now for your grape tools and that, so this is going to be crucial, and I'm going to go over every step you need to know, so after you've harvested it, you need to pre-prune these, so basically it's like demulching in a way in that. 
Well, not the mulching, but I'm not sure exactly, but yeah. So, plow, because yeah, we've got plows and a mulcher in that. These are important that the subsoiling, not too much if you're not using the plow requirements, but still important. So, yeah, what we're going to do is show these off. So, actually, I don't think I've got the pre pruner, so. Bear me a sec whilst I go and purchase that, because as you can see, we've got some withered grapevines that need a little bit of pruning. So, alright then, as you can see, I've got the pre pruner. And this is only for the vineyards. The olives, they regrow automatically now after you harvest it. You can see, we are ready to harvest again. I did harvest these, and that obviously, you can see, fertilizer state, I did none. But yeah, so let's go into here. And also, what I'm going to do for you folks is open the help menu. There we go. So yeah, obviously you've got unfold, turn on, lower, and all that other good stuff. So once we are in position, get this lined up. And yeah, I am not the best at this, so. Yeah, I may not need to lower it, just keep it raised. Obviously, in FS22, we had a modded version of this. Was it modded or basic game where we had like two of these in one? And down the road, there's going to be some more equipment that's going to help you with this. And just to get out of the question at the back can you use the whole GPS system? No, you can't. Not with vineyards and grapes, unfortunately. Because if I press circle to hire a worker, as you can see, we've got no field that has been detected. And that's even saying if I try to put this in a field and that, so yeah, unfortunately it ain't gonna work. So obviously you pre-prune this after every harvest. And I'll show it one more time. And then yeah, it's literally just a case of it's ready to go, ready to re or regrow that, so let's get this strip done. So there we go, we are done. After a few little bumps and that, yep, I am not the best when it comes to these groups and that. But I'm yeah, good enough to show you who, how they function that because, yep, yeah, do break some olives. They may not be the most profitable crop to do, they actually are the worst, as I mentioned. But they do have their benefits, so what I'm going to do is hook up the mulcher because we need to mulch the vines, first of all. And then we'll go and cultivate them. Obviously, with something like this, you could potentially pre apply a state of fertilizer. But for this, I'm not going to. And there we go, we are mulching. Actually, is it doing anything if we have a look? So if we go to soil composition mulched. Alright, oh, it feels very mulched in that, even though I've already done a harvest in that. But usually something would be like that sort of kind of small grass we've got over here. So if I go to the olives, hopefully this will work. So drop it down, put the mulcher on. So yeah, apparently it doesn't need mulching, even though... But yeah, you do it normally after a harvest and that. As with the mulchers in general in game and that. But yeah, for whatever reason, it is not one to do that today, so not fair enough. And what I'm just going to do is go to this one here. Go to Antonio Carrero Mark 4R. I am not a fan of these kind of tractors and that, these swivel axle tractors. Yeah, not a fan. Anywho, plow is hooked up now, or subsoiler, should I say. But yeah, if you do have the periodic plowing on, this will help with, you know, getting rid of that plant saying that. So, we'll go across, drop subsoil down. Don't get the thing stuck, please. There we go, we're leaving that subsoil state that. There we go, getting that soil bubbling up from the ground. 
So yeah, this is again part of the prep work you do, and yeah, because it's a swivel axle net or swivel for an axle, absolutely hate these tracks because I do. Don't get me wrong, in real life, I'm sure they really can treat that and very helpful and useful, but in FS and that, yeah, you're not my particular favourites, but you get the point, you know, you harvest it. So yeah, once you place these islands the first time round, don't need to do any pre-pruning, don't need to mulch, don't need subsoil in that. It's just, just case of spraying it with fertilizer and herbicide if needed, which I'm not sure about the herbicide, I don't think, but definitely the fertilizer, so... But yeah, let's go and spray this. Obviously, this is a dedicated tool net. But you can use the sprayers we've got in game, because in this particular setup, if I was by accident, I made these vineyards nine wide, so I put nine strips down. And if you're using, uh, which, which one is it? The newest, the largest sprayer we've got in game, so the Agrifat Condor. With the maximum boom, 54 meters, I can go over the entirety of these nine strips here. So yeah, then, yeah, get a nice free frozen state from that. By using a master sprayer, compared to something like this, which, don't get me wrong, it's not too bad. But it can be a bit tedious in the works, so... I can see we are going along. What I'm going to do is sort of skip ahead and show you these robots. Alright, bring it into a wet July. We've got some twisters on the way, so don't forget it's done before the twister comes. But yeah, a small correction the mulching is done after you have pre pruned it. So this gets rid of, you know, the grass gnat. The grass meadow grass, not sure what it's exactly called in real life in that, but you sort of see the point. So there we go, we have mulched. I have to go to. The PD in that. So hopefully this time we get the mulching we need. Yeah, for whatever reason this field yeah, this was a field, but it's having a weird bug where it's saying it's mulch constantly. Even though a uh, bit of a spoiler in that. This has been a long work in progress. This has been like I've spent the last two days, you know, working the map that the game crashes and that, just because I want to prep everything for these kind of videos I've got coming up, hopefully I've released them coming out sometime today, I was recording this on Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll sort of see, once we've done the mulch in that, once it starts to grow, we can put that second state of fertilizer down. And you see, we're getting that faint colour strip there. That is what we want, and yeah, so you keep on going, you rinse and repeat, yada yada yada. But now, on to the harvesting, so I think this one can do the olives. Yeah, I can't remember which ones I've got set up here, so I've got a vineyard down the road that has a great vine ready to go. Actually, I can just look at the front of this and... Actually, I need to reconfirm, so go to Great Top Technology. So, yeah, the grapes are that. The olives has got the weird shorts in that, so this is for the grapes. Fair enough. There we go, this is the one we want. This is one here for the olives. I love you. And yeah, you've got olives in here already, so maybe another indicator in that, so. There we go, harvesting, so when it comes to the particular equipment, I am a particular fan of this because when you're in camp, you are directly over where you're going. Compared to the New Holland broad that where you're offset, tells you where you're harvesting. And the arrow, I have never used that one. It's slightly cheaper version, but can be also a slightly more powerful version, but I think if I was going to do vineyards in the game, which over the course of three years we've got in the game, and that, again, I was recording this game has only been out a week, and I know people are reporting about game bugs crashes. Some people are some of the game, and that, which, again, I get why people are frustrated, but 
take your frustration out a bit more constructively. As I was going to say, I'll do a separate video on the whole game crash and state of FS as we've got at the moment. But trust me, as I say, Giants are working on the game now. They're still working on updates now, trying to get updates out now. But they also need to test the updates to fix the up or fix the bugs and that. Because again, as I mentioned, it's only been a damn week in that, so. But anyways, back onto the video now. So once your audios are done, you can put them in a processing plant. So what I'm gonna do is Actually I'm just gonna head to where it's slightly better weather than that. Because rain is a bit annoying. Really? Whilst I'm trying to record a video here, we've got a bloody twister. Oh god. That is... Thank god that's gone away. So yeah, skip ahead a bit till later on day. I'm not sure I may have included a clip, a clip of us getting interrupted by a twister in that. But yeah, so with all this and that, you put it into the oil mill net. And yeah, you can do other oils. Canola, sunflower and rice oil. But yeah, I am not going to be looking at that. So yeah, I'm going to go over to here. And as you can see, I've got one strip of... Uh, what's it? Grapes. That's the word I'm looking for. So, let's go and start harvesting this vine. So, again, this is a good harvester to use. And if you do have vineyards, if you do have grapes, I do recommend do the mulching. Do the subsoil in that after you have... Harvested and after you have pre pruned it. Because, yeah, it is going to be absolutely vital to get that year bonus. So, we have a look here at this vine. A 77% year bonus, so all we're missing is the, again, for our state. Bought some of the land here because obviously I have drastically transformed this map. Again, this is my test map, this is going to be my mod review map when we get more mods and apps in future nets. But yeah, so I'll transfer this map very much. And obviously, things like the game that with whole Bork and the math that with the field bonuses and that being a thing. I'm not surprised it's saying we've got a maximum your bonus, even though uh, mulching is needed on this field. I have not mulched this field at all. But I'm not going to say anything else, so. Once we're done, we'll put it into a trailer and then take it to the great processing plant. So right, I think luckily I've checked the recordings on that because I have lost the last clip segment. I swear I pressed record and made sure it was all pressed recorded. But for a reason it didn't save, so literally I did put the little bits of grapes we had in. So you put your grapes into here and we'll go over quickly briefly the productions that so we have a look, in terms of your great products and that, is it worth doing? Again, I'm going to be doing a separate video on that, but I think if memory serves me right, raisins were worth doing it, worth doing over grapes and that. But I think grape juice and that, it's pretty even, I think that's how I checked in FS22. Well, again, I'm going to do a separate video on that, but a 14 to 4, or again, was it a 3.5 to 1 ratio or something like that? 7 to, yeah, 7 to 2, 3.5 to 1. So yeah, I don't think grape juice is going to be worth doing. But yeah, so if we look at the prices, and again, I am going to refer to a lot of this in my test video coming up very soon. So, for example, olives and that. So, if I go to my production, so ignore my productions. I've got many productions hitting the 41 production limit in game. But yeah, olive oil nats, we have a look at the recipe, 2.5 to 1 ratio, so 2.5 litres of olive is converted into 1 litre of oil. So if I go very briefly to our crop prices, so olives at its peak, let's go by via peak price net, 2,100. Convert into oil, we're using what, 4,200. 
plus another thousand, so about five thousand years or five thousand pounds worth of olives get eight thousand years of olive oil. So olive oil in general is gonna be worth it. Again, if you go at even the lowest prices than that, you're still getting a profit. The correlation is very fam familiar between the two. And I'll quickly go over the reasons that. So was it a two to one ratio? I think it was. So five thousand four hundred. Compare that to grapes, which I think is going to be worth around about the same as olives. So yeah, two thousand one hundred. So yeah, do raisins. If you're going to do grape juice, uh, five thousand three hundred at its peak versus grapes at its peak, two thousand one hundred. I think you're what was that four thousand two hundred. No, it was a 3.5 to 1, so yeah, you are losing out on grape juice and that. Unless you're harvesting the grapes, again, around about September, October, if you're using the seasons. Process it, get a few thousand years, and so in February then, yes, okay, it's worth it at that point. But if you're getting grapes, you're going through the effort of making grape juice. Rather than do that, rather than have a cost of a production app, because, again, in that video, I'm going to be tested and see actually how long it's going to require to break even. Because it's all good saying, oh, spend 100 grand on these productions and that. Because I'm going to build modes. I haven't again gone over this. So, great processing. You're looking at core of a mill. All processes, all your processes and plant also core of a mill. In terms of slot counts, I'm pretty sure these were like four or five slots on console. So, do you apologize for going a bit on the oversight on slot counts, but. Slot count in FS25 ain't really matter too much on console. But yeah, looking at Corvin Mill, oil mill, yeah, it is worth doing the oil mill that, because again, separate videos can be done on all that, so try to keep everything concise in that, so is grapes in general worth doing? Is grapes and vineyard stuff worth doing without looking at productions? I would say possibly yes, but because we go over the cost of these and that, so if I go to, once again, go to our cultivation, so I did put, what, 18 of these down, so these are 18. But yeah, alright, let's go across here, so get lined up. Go all the way down. Alright, fine, we'll go grapes then. There we go, if I get a blade price, so... For this section here, we're looking at about it's what minus eighteen thousand, hundred eighty, hundred sixty, hundred sixty-two thousand. Including the equipment, that all this costs one hundred sixty-two grand for this small vineyard. That again, if you you got to be using productions to make money, otherwise it's not worth doing grapes. And that especially in game, thanks to Scroft and that. It is literally the worst crop to do. Don't get me wrong. I love doing great work in that. In storytelling, role playing that. Especially if it would come from years now, over the next two, three years in game. We have some beautiful Italian maps and that. I'm looking forward to all that other good stuff in that. So, but as you are at the moment, are you worth doing? No. If you're looking at pure money wise, no, it's not worth doing, but it's different. It's something different from, you know, your typical cedars, planters, combine harvesters and that. You're using specialist equipment, which again I've got to say it has its own niche to it, so hope you found something helpful in all that rant and that. I do try to keep things a bit as as concise as I can. But anyways, as always, hope you found this helpful and affordative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash the like button, feel free to comment down below, as I'm getting stuck. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed yet, then please do, as I'm pushing over 2,000 subs by Christmas. But to approach to do, hope you're safe. But for now, it's before I'm ever extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.